Welcome back to Taiwan Now. Look, our guest today is Dr. Chong Su, president of Taipei Medical University. Uh, Dr. Su has been talking about uh, Taiwan's competitiveness in this globalized uh, uh, medical market. But apparently there will be a challenge in the future. So what will, will be the possible challenges that Taiwan is going to face in the future? Well, number one, as you have addressed earlier well, which is our health care system, mm -hmm. our national health insurance, mm -hmm. we cannot uh, let it go bankrupt. Yeah. Uh, we need to have a long-term plan yeah. to uh, maintain the financial security of this health care system. Mm -hmm. And uh, we cannot uh, let uh, the quality of health care degrades. Mm -hmm. When we have the uh, resource, financial resources for national health insurance uh, going downhill, mm -hmm. uh, we will lose the quality. Yeah. So this is the number one issue. Mm -hmm. Number two is uh, how can we take advantage of the high quality of health care to uh, export uh, our health care uh, to uh, other countries. Yeah. And also, we should uh, consider our biotech mm -hmm. uh, development, mm -hmm. which could be uh, an important uh, area. Uh, Taiwan's economy mm -hmm. will have to come on in the future mm -hmm. because the uh, 21st century is uh, the century of biotechnology. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the past few years, uh, our government, our people have been uh, making appear to the international community that Taiwan is not a member of the WHO and that, you know, make us suffer a lot uh, in this globalized uh, health community. Do you think that uh, without being a member of the WHO, does hurt Taiwan? Yes, I think it, it hurts. Mm -hmm. It is really uh, somewhat limited uh, our exchange with the global healthcare mm -hmm. uh, community. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, SARS is an example. Mm -hmm. You know, if we have uh, some uh, healthcare crisis, mm -hmm. we need uh, help from uh, WHO, yeah. and sometimes uh, we don't get it. So mm -hmm. if we join the WHO, it would help mm -hmm. Taiwan a great deal. But in terms of contribution, what can we do? Or what do we have to contribute to the health community of the world? Well, Taiwan is uh, among the uh, best in healthcare mm -hmm. around the world. So, like our health insurance system, our healthcare delivery system will benefit mm -hmm. a large number of uh, countries yeah. uh, that are WHO members. Mm -hmm. So, we can uh, uh, sh showcase our health insurance programs, mm -hmm. our health care delivery programs mm -hmm. around the world. Yeah. But as I know that we've been receiving a lot of support from the medical communities in other countries for our uh, WHO membership. But as a result of the political considerations on the part of many uh, foreign governments, uh, they were not able to support Taiwan, you know, to join the WHO. Do you feel frustrated about this kind of uh, political uh, uh, calculation on the part of on the part of those governments? I think uh, every healthcare professional in Taiwan should be frustrated by the notion mm -hmm. uh, Taiwan is not a WHO member. Mm -hmm. And uh, we should uh, continue to uh, strive for mm -hmm. getting the membership. Yeah. Uh, in terms of, let me come back to the uh, medical education, you know. Apparently, we are going to face a lot of competitions from other countries uh, in you know, getting our best students to go to their countries to study and so on. Do you think uh, we will face a similar uh, competition we have now and also in the future that there will be other countries coming to Taiwan to get our best students over there? Uh, I have to say not yet mm -hmm. because uh, when I went to the United States in the 70s. Mm -hmm. Our best went to uh, US yeah. or went to uh, Europe. Nowadays, we don't have uh, a lot of students go abroad. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. because uh, we have a very good uh, financial situation. Yeah. So actually, uh, compared to other countries, mm -hmm. we are not exporting a lot of students. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you mentioned the so-called uh, cooperation between the medical community and the biotechnology industry and so on. D is the university implementing any uh, you know, cooperation mechanism or joint venture, joint web, uh, cooperation with the uh, industries? In yes, we do, we do a, a lot of this. Mm -hmm. And we actually, we are among the eight universities mm -hmm. uh, received uh, the Ministry of Education Award mm -hmm. for collaboration with the biotech industry. Mm -hmm. And what are the major fields that you're working on right now? Uh, we are working on quite a few things. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for example, we have uh, some biomaterials, mm -hmm. and we have uh, some uh, uh, novel biotechnology, uh, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, becoming the intellectual property, mm -hmm. uh, which can be uh, used in uh, disease prevention, uh, mm -hmm. disease treatment. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually collaborate broadly with uh, government mm -hmm. agencies, industry, mm -hmm. and uh, sister hospitals. Yeah. And our birth rate is one of the lowest in the world. Uh, in, in terms of low birth rate, you know, what's the importance of low birth rate for the med medical education and for the medical service in general? Well. It hurts a lot. Mm -hmm. Number one, uh, pediatrics is a very important specialty, mm -hmm. but it's uh, going downhill mm -hmm. because uh, this particular specialty uh, is having a difficult time mm -hmm. attracting uh, good medical graduates. Mm -hmm. So is uh, gynecology and obstetrics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They also are struggling mm -hmm. and to uh, get a Chinese. Chinese, okay. And how about the medical service in general? Are they also is they also facing uh, facing a lot of you know? Uh, we also have uh, some issues to be addressed by the national health program. Mm -hmm. For instance, the hardest specialty is dermatology, mm -hmm. and. Uh, we need a, a lot of good medical doctors mm -hmm. to go into uh, surgery, go into internal medicine, pediatrics, gynecology, and obstetrics. Mm -hmm. We need uh, this as a major subspecialty. We need a lot of medical doctors. Mm -hmm. but we have uh, over, mm. we could have uh, over supply of dermatologists. Yeah. But uh, you know, uh, in Taiwan, uh, everybody realized that's a serious problem. It has impacts not only on the medical community, but also on all sectors in Taiwan. And people have been talking about what can we do to provide incentives uh, to those people who uh, do not want to have kids. You know, from your pro medical professions, you know, what do you think that would be the best incentives for uh, the young people to have kids? This should be a planned incentive. Mm -hmm. If we are weak in certain area, the government should have a short, mid, and long-term plan mm -hmm. to uh, attract good uh, medical graduates mm -hmm. to go into a particular specialty. Mm -hmm. I think the government should, uh, government should do this as soon as possible. And so you don't think that government is doing anything right now? It's not done enough. Mm -hmm. But in terms of attracting uh, you know, foreign students to come to Taiwan, and do you think that uh, we still have a lot of room that can imp improve uh, in getting more foreign students to come yes, to Taiwan to study? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. We need to improve our language training program mm -hmm. in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. See, we go to the hospital, uh, uh, a majority of them speak Taiwanese. <laughs> so the foreign students who mm -hmm. come to Taiwan, if they have to interact with uh, patients, mm -hmm. they need to know uh, 
local languages. Mm -hmm. So we needed to really improve on our language training program. Mm -hmm. And we should uh, also make our program more flexible. We should uh, make them more welcome. Mm -hmm. That's right. But uh, in terms of uh, getting the right people to, to go to the right field in the medical schools, do you provide any uh, you know, orientation or any uh, training or even to help them to pick the right uh, field of expertise? Uh, usually this is uh, driven by the unfortunate market. quote, market, yeah. unquote. So this is uh, something we really cannot uh, do much to guide the students. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they just have to decide by themselves. And there's market force driving the students to pick the right, you know, the thing, right field. We have a slogan in Taiwan, which is um, a lot of money, a little work, mm -hmm. and near home. <laughs> so people are following uh, this three uh, criteria to mm -hmm. choose their specialty, and this is unfortunate. Yeah. So the National Health Insurance Program should pay pediatricians more, mm -hmm. pay surgeons more, pay primary care physicians more, mm -hmm. pay gynecology obstetricians more. Uh, Dr. Su, you are not just a medical professional. You are educated, you know, as a president yes. of the university. What do you think that as an educator of the medical university, what should be the vision or the most important uh, mission of your work? Uh, to me, students who come to uh, medical schools are really good students. They are devoted to uh, normal, normal courses. Mm -hmm. Like uh, our students, during their freshman year, sophomore years, mm -hmm. when they don't have a lot of uh, course requirements, mm -hmm. they usually go to the mountain area, remote uh, countryside to pro provide volunteer services mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to the disadvantaged, to the Aboriginal people. Mm -hmm. But when they get to the higher uh, grade, uh, when they move to the senior years, mm -hmm. they become more and more market driven. Yeah. So the best to fix the system is for our government, for our national health insurance program to modify. Yeah. But there have been discussions about the ethics of the you know, medical field. Do you emphasize a lot of ethics in the medical community? We do a lot. Mm -hmm. But still, we still cannot overtake the market. Mm -hmm. But is there anything because, that we can uh, fix a, the problems? A, we should have the, a very good uh, standard of practice. Mm -hmm. uh, we should have the good uh, ethical code of conduct mm -hmm. to uh, re uh, enforce in our country. Mm -hmm. Is uh, anybody who violates the ethical code should be uh, punished. Yeah, so apparently there will be more to be improved. In, in, in uh, we, we, we should. In the U.S., is, they rely on the lawyers. Yeah. Because uh, in the U.S., there are a large number of lawyers. So they have a very big uh, medical, legal issue. Mm -hmm. The reason the health care costs are so expensive in the U.S., yeah. one of the reasons is uh, medical, legal costs. Yeah. In Taiwan, we don't have as much a problem. Mm -hmm. And speaking of that, finally, uh, there have been uh, more and more uh, concerns about legal, you know, lawsuits against doctors and so on. Does that create a lot of pressures on the uh, doctors in the field? I think uh, the legal system is uh, one of the system to safeguard mm -hmm. the medical practice. Mm -hmm. So I think it's one of the elements. Mm -hmm. However, it should not be overdone. That's right. Like uh, the U.S. We should have a balance. Thank you. And we should uh, be careful. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Su. Thank you for coming to our program. Thank and you very much. Thank you. That's Chong Su, president of Taipei Medical University. And thank you for watching Taiwan Outlook, and see you next week.